Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. This is our devotion for Monday, November 15th. So glad that you could join us this morning. My name is Pastor Pete and this week we are going to be looking at the one another's of Scripture. One another's are these things that Jesus has told us to do to one another as we live in community. They're kind of like the indicators, the markers of what is important for us as we live our lives. It's kind of like if you would come into my office, which you're always welcome to stop by to visit, and you look around my office, you would see different things that indicate stuff that I, that I value. Uh, a big part of what you'll see are pictures of, of my sons and of my family. I have those around my office because those are something that I, I identify with. I am a father and husband of my boys. In another section of my office, you'll see pictures of all the groups that I have taken on mission trips or national youth gatherings. That shows you another picture, something else that is an important part of who I am and what I do. You'll see a lot of books that I have read, and those books will show you the things that I'm interested in and things that I study. And you'll see a lot of Coke bottles and some other stuff that says Coke on it because for, for a while I drank Coke more than fish drink water. And Coke has always been kind of my beverage of choice. So you look around my office and you learn about me through what you see. Much like we learn about God and the world around us learns about God from what they see in us. So in these one another's, Jesus is giving us instructions as to how we are to live as his witnesses. And it's only appropriate that we start our study of the one another's of scripture by looking at the most important one another that Jesus gives us. And our Bible reading today comes from John 15, verse 12 through 17. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that somebody lay down his life for his friend. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the father in my name he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another, that we are to love one another. That's the first and most important of all the one another's, that we show the love that God has shown us to one another, that that love be at the heart of how we interact with each other. You see, it's that loving one another that makes an impact on our lives. Loving one another helps us to live more abundant lives because as we seek to love one another, it shapes how we view the world. And as we're seeking to share and show the love of Jesus Christ to one another, it shapes the world into a much more joy-filled place. It shapes the world into a much more Christ-like place as we seek to show that love to one another. But that's not the only way that loving one another helps. As we love one another, it actually makes our church here at Mount Calvary a healthier place to be. When we interact with one another and we seek first and foremost to love one another, we are living as the body of Christ, supporting one another, sharing each other's sorrows and joys in the spirit of love. Imagine if every time we come in, well, you Here's the thing, my ringtone on my phone reminds me whenever somebody calls what kind of place we want to be. And it's the theme from Cheers. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name and they're always glad you came. That attitude of love prevailing everything we do. And then as we love one another and are transformed and we love one another and we transform our congregation and the heart and soul of our congregation to reflect the love of Christ, Imagine how that impacts our witness. When people come into our fellowship and they see the love and care that we have for one another, that moves them. And it creates a desire in them to be part of that kind of community, to be part of that body. So it, loving one another helps us. It helps build the body of Christ in the church. It also helps to reach out with his grace. 
so love one another because by loving one another we will show to everybody that we are Jesus' disciples. That's a pretty good place to start as we look at the one another's of scripture. Today remember, we are called to love one another. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the relationships you have blessed us with. And thank you for the example you show us in loving us so much that you were willing to sacrifice yourself so that we could be children of God. Be with us and fill us with your spirit so that we may show that love to one another. In your precious name we pray. Amen. You guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.